Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I want to touch upon a few things in science that I'd like to discuss. Um, uh, name of that, that is uh, the idea called monism, or monism, however you want to say it. Um, I, uh, well, I'd like to first get started by, by, by the discussion um, that's going to lead into uh, secondly monism and then, of course, simulation theory, um, which I um, am part of a contributor to the, to the um, ongoing research and thought about um, namely developing a lot of the source code that begins with the carbon tissue up here. Um, but getting back to the first the first things first, um, a little philosophical discussion here or discourse um, begins with the idea that we all have a little, uh, when you look at somebody's eyes or whatever and you see the uh, all this material apparatus moving around. How do you know that there's something inside there experiencing? You know, as you, as you do yourself. How do you know that there's it, not just a wind up toy? How can the, the interaction of matter necessarily include subjective consciousness wherever it occurs, even if it's not you doing it? And of course, you know you're real, but you're there. Um, but how do you know it's not just all you, and it's not just one mind, and it's only your mind, and this is all wrapped around to be your own dream? You know, how how do you how do you get around? The, the inability to prove that. How do you prove it, so to speak? Um, well, for, well, for me, it begins with Darwinism. So we, we can not necessarily have to use that to, to get to that conclusion. Um, that being that uh, it is is true that there are other minds in the universe besides just your own. Um, and uh, it, it, and uh, and I guess the basic the basic thrust of the argument here is that. The idea of the matter and energy are the same thing. There's, there's one realm in the universe. It's not a spiritual realm and a physical realm. There's not a duality in nature, of, of reality. It's not, it's not divisible. There's one unified substance, place, state, and it's all here at one time. There's not different dimensions. They don't, you don't represent another dimension by having like an invisible place. It's here, but like not where you can see it. It's a, it's, a, it's a unified field that is all one. So there's no um, there's no mind and matter duality. There's no spirit and physical duality. There's only one place, and that's mapped out with Einstein's equation. You know the famous one, and um, it's uh, it's all energy or it's all matter, but it's not both at once or ever. Um, it's just it's more of a flux in between the two places. But they're not two places that just comes out. That's the second portion of the node that starts with only one. Um, is how I like to represent it um, here now with these labels. But um, and that's, that's, that's sort of the, the dichotomy you got to get over that your mind creates when you see more than one self. Um, namely, you see yourself and then you see others and you wonder, are they wind up toys in a way that the physical stuff isn't necessarily represented in a way that you can prove it to yourself and there's subjectiveness going on inside that head. You just... You forget about it when you're little, and you, keep, you just move on, you know, because there's no way to prove it or disprove it. But Einstein's theory uh, dissolves that boundary. It's universal acid. Um, and I'd like to make the claim that it's one and the same as Einstein's theory as well. Um, so, uh, this, this getting the idea that that concept's out there. That's the idea of monism versus dualism. Sort of helps one overcome that at the get go, and now we can sort of march over little asses into the uh, simulation theory. And that, that gets into the idea of well, what, what is information? What is information processing? And how does that, you know, dissolve itself, you know, the boundaries between software and hardware? How come, how come we can know that the interaction of mass, of, of mass necessarily includes consciousness? The interaction of matter with matter, you know, inside the brain, how does it mechanical and yet something arise from it that's not um, this invisible soul that's a portion of the other side of the universe, the duality? Um, and so the, inf the information component of this is the state that um, uh, let's just look at these labels material embodiment. Okay, What does it mean for material to embody information? Like if, I can carve my name in a bar of soap. I could, I could write it on the sand. You know, I could write whatever it is. But you're writing digital instruction down. Digital instruction is called because it's a displacement of matter. Um, Word is itself, you know, cognizant of that displacement because it's not, um, 
it's not um, it's 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 transversing weight among weight um, in a way that we understand it as a now and a not now. Um, but the weight is carried you know between the not now and the now, but it, it's not it's in a flux in between the two places, so to speak. But it's it's a one solid continuum where everything is in is only the weight from the past is not back in the past; it always stays in the present. And so, for that reason, we can say that information is all that there is. And um, so, I, I can say that I wanted to uh, map out the you know the, the instructions that are encoded in the carbon-based uh, tissue inside the, inside inside the, the calcium portion of the skull, but it's only the central nervous system. Um, so, the mapping out of the body and all this stuff is representation of a user interface. Uh, nomenclature, so to speak, the computer um, apparatus that we use will operate our code with the rules of thought. It is necessarily, you know, crunching things in an orderly fashion that all things do matter only does. Does that make any sense? Uh, that sounded pretty cool, didn't it? You like that video? Partition in the back there? But it's, all, it's still right here on the screen. I'm going, but you've got all the memory memory of the meaning that's stacked in that and it stays here with you and resides in a suspended form like it's a, it's a, it's just running in suspension in the background now so now you can use it as you need it uh shit I forgot what i was talking about um hmm <laughs> um all, all of a sudden I was, I was thinking about this shit and all of a sudden it just like goes straight to my dick i get hard i gotta get it back oh wait Go down. <laughs> um, no, I just sort of like tickle my own self sometimes. I'm, I'm so fucking smart. You know it. Look what I did to my fucking. Ah! See that thing right there? And that look fucking scary. It's my Halloween decoration. It's like scares people when they drive up. It's like, ah! But it's some of it. See what I can get back there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah! Well, what the fuck is that shit? It's scary looking home. It's like this invisible horn with invisible noise. It's so fucking loud. It's, it's the way I saw when I was I was I was doing some that, and I sort of got that on. I don't know what I was talking about originally. Oh, there's this chick I'm trying to fuck. Uh. <laughs> hey. Ooh. Ooh.